Hello ghosties, this is Fino and today we're going to be taking a look at a fun new concept for a deck. So we're going to be playing some Duelist and we're going to be having hopefully some fun. However, full disclosure, I've yet to play the deck and this video is more of a theory test for me. And we are going to attempt to run this deck a little bit tonight when I stream. So if you're interested in seeing the deck a little bit more in action, I'd swing by tonight while we fine tune the deck and have a lot of fun with the deck, hopefully. Hopefully being the key word. So let's take a look. We're going with kind of a gimmicky deck, a fun kind of deck. So what we have is Ragnar the Relentless. We have Flash Reincarnation times three, Golem Metallurgist, Natural Selection, Young Silzar, Rage Binder, Tectonic Spikes, Auto Specs, Homeostatic Rebuke, Thunderhorn times two, Lava Slasher times three, two Plasma Storms, and then this is where we start getting into the fun kind of gimmicky part of what we're going to attempt. So we have three Crystal bur Crystalis Bursts, which is summon a random egg in four random spaces. So it's four eggs randomly across the board. We then have the War Beast, the EMP, followed by Extinction Event. So this is a card that I've yet to see played. It is a card that I have been told is awful. I kind of agree. It is fairly awful, but we're going to try to play it anyway and see what we can make happen with it. And then we have Saurian Finality as well. So we're going to tweak it a little bit. We're going to have fun. We're going to see what we can make happen. I don't know if tech spikes is really needed. I don't know if all of the cards in the deck are really needed so we're going to iterate and play and we're going to see what we can pull off today for wins i'm not expecting any considering where we are currently sitting in ladder we are currently sitting at like i think gold four so because of where we're sitting in ladder it's going to make it a lot harder for us to test and mess, mess around with a deck like this however I am very excited to give it a go and just see what we can have fun with. Just that's what it's all about is having fun. Now that trials seem to have died down a little bit, less people seem to be running them. The meta is shifting away from those and now to more just streamlined decks, which makes sense. So I'm not expecting a lot of wins. This is a, if you guys are here to see a lot of wins today. This is me telling you to get out while you still can, because it will not be happening. <laughs> this is a strictly um, super pilot um, type of run here today. So we're going to see what we can make happen. That's really what this will be. This is kind of what i want to try doing here on the channel is the monday episode is going to be me playing a deck and having fun with that deck and then innovating and tweaking that deck the that evening for at least half of the duelist stream on monday and going from there um um i guess We'll just do this. Gives him a Phoenix Fire. Which is going to allow him to manipulate the board. It had to go one way or another, so it, it's really here nor there, but... Um, that's another really good target for the Lava Gold, uh, Slasher, because that was expected. Um, but leaving the Scroll Bandit there makes it a very nice target for another Lava Slasher, because I take minimal damage from it. I'm not going to replace anything. I'm going to keep holding on to what we've got. We've got a nice, decent enough hand. We've we've ramped into it nicely. 
Um, it wasn't good early on, but we lucked out with getting the Golem Metallurgist right out the gate. That's fine. I mean, it, it, it's it's a bummer, but you have to expect that kind of removal fairly frequently, I suppose. So, all right, so. Let's let's hit him and drop him. Get ourselves an egg. I like our hand. It gives us a lot of very nice options next turn. Natural selection is going to be nice as well. The downside is we got the panda and egg. Um, so natural selection is going to be a lot harder for us to pull off. That was well played. Um, I think we just War Beast. He didn't want us to kill the creature just by the way you could tell he was blocking the creature off. The question now is going to be, can we roll into our gimmick? If we can pull Extinction Event, this could be a lot of fun. Him being Kalios, he could still pull off a win quite easily here. So there is that too. Um, but we have we have a nice we have a nice board. We have decent enough removal options. We have more healing potentially. Um There's the War Beast, which puts us in a pretty good spot for lethal. We do have the Rebuke and the War Beast, so we, we have a good shot right now. If the war be if the thunderhorn hits itself, does it does it chain? Um.
I'm amazed that we won that game. Yeah, we got a crate. I'm legitimately impressed that we won the game there. Um, we played it well. I don't think we made any mistakes. Any true mistakes, anyway. See if we get into a game. Seems rather light today, so. Minions with Grow will gain stat at the beginning of your turn. The queue times are a bit ridiculous today. Versus Magmar. All right. What do we got? Diamond player. Ah, it's the dream. He a diamond with a good, good background here. Well done, sir. I'm actually quite excited to see what what a diamond vath would be running. So I'm curious to see what he plays. Could see a natural selection here. Ooh. Get out of here, egg. My original Vath deck, or my original Magmar deck, ran Vath. Um, because the Sunsteel got removed. That's that's the biggest hit I think to my older deck is that Sunsteel got pulled, and Sunsteel was such a powerful card. Um, that losing it was just a huge, a huge bummer. Specs. Hello. He has a full hand. And he's got his blood bound up. We do have homeostatic rebuke as well, along with natural selection. So we have options. Um,
Attacking him was an error. I I may have had a lapse in judgment. I don't think attacking him was the right decision there. Could Plasma Storm? No, he's just gonna ping the egg. So he's trying to box us in damage wise. Um, I think he's got GG. So if he has another cryptographer, he can kill us. If he has Drogon, he can kill us. He can kill us with Drogon. I think he would have just dropped Drogon, though. Oh, he has another Blood Tier. Well played, sir. I don't see a lot of people play Blood Tier and Constructed, so... It's interesting. Especially to get killed by a Drogon. That is truly interesting. Goodbye, win rates. Goodbye. I love thee. Alright, so we're going to do one more game. I'm trying to shorten up my content a little bit here on the channel. We'll do one more. I think three games is pretty good. We're going to see what we can make happen. The Dream Weaver. I definitely didn't think this deck was diamond worthy, so the fact that we were put up against a diamond player really kind of just solidifies that. No creature on turn one. Oh, there she goes. Borean Bear. All right, ah, my foot itches. <laughs> That's fine. That's a good, this is a good uh, homeostatic rebuke turn. Um. Oh shit, he can hit our egg. Crap. Oh, well. Or you could do that too. The rebuke there just set him back big time. Um. 
I'm assuming this will also set him back big time. Um, he can he can kill my war base with his ability. Um, but that was the only way to get that kind of a hit out because we needed the mana tile. So it's kind of the price we paid to let that happen. I'm, I'm still really surprised Thunderhorn did not see a nerf in the expansion. Like, it genuinely shocks me that he didn't see any form of a nerf. Alright, so EMP is like a... A big one here. Or can we kill him? We have six. All right, it's getting down to the wire. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he can pull off the win. I'm going to say no since it looks like he's just going to block us. Woohoo! Ooh, that was fun. So the deck is doing better than I thought it would. It definitely is a little rough around the edges. But it is it is doing better than I thought it would, considering that it might be one of the first decks I truly have <laughs> slapped together really quickly before recording. <laughs> oh, man. But it's turning out to be quite fun. Um, let's do one more. We'll do one more. That game was rather quick. It only took like seven minutes to kick butt. Lucky man, 216. Oh god, another diamond player. A pretty solid little opening hand. Um...
There we go. Now it's even better. Ah, oh, it's a Lobelisk. That is not a card that I wanted to see. And to be running a obelisk deck, he's got to have some idea of what he's doing. So, We could EMP next turn. Um, I actually think EMPing this turn is the right choice. That was expected. Let's see if we can put a little bit of pressure on him. While we have such a high curve. If we can top deck another one. I would have loved to see another tech spikes because it would have given us lethal that turn. Um, but we have war beast, which gives us lethal anyway. Yeah, I do better than that, man.
Well, I went in to today really worried that this deck wasn't going to work. And I am incredibly satisfied with the way that it has turned out. And I'm very excited to fine tune it maybe a little bit tonight and see if we can push it to diamond. Um, we did just beat a diamond player, which felt really good. Um, so that's nice. It will depend also if the scale of player is a little more top notch this evening, but we'll see. It's a cool little icon. The less cool little icon. Cool. But that is where we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Duelist, please give this video a like. Give it a share. It helps out a tremendous deal. And if you also enjoyed it, come by the live stream over on Twitch tonight at Fino Games, where we will be picking up this deck and giving it another bash for a little while and streaming tonight. So thank you all very much for continued support here on the channel. And as always, till the next video.